Hi guys, this is Stevie from Frinters again with another screencast, this time to talk about how to manage and interact with the file cabinet. As you can see on the left hand side you have a file cabinet and on the right hand side you have different ways of uploading media to your file cabinet. So the file cabinet is basically sort of like an alternative to cloud storage but with the added functionality of being able to print for free at your campus. So let's go ahead and try each of these options and see what it gives us. So I'm going to go ahead and upload from my local uh, computer and it looks like I have something called some random guy so I'm just gonna go ahead and upload that cool nice photo there and um, let's try Dropbox this time it says that uh, we have to send it to Dropbox which seems like a reasonable request so I'm gonna go ahead and log in cool and I have some other photo upload that cool and uh, as you can see there are kind of added functionalities here print download delete and it also gives us some details about what I've just uploaded such as the date and the type of the file it's a JPEG over here and the size of the file cool so let's try the last option which is Google Drive and uh, select cool so I'm super excited about how awesome my file cabinet is looking right now uh, with all of these details and these very superb photos and um, basically what you want to do when you go ahead and try to print is you're going to press this print button and you get a choice between banner paper and clean paper we'll go into a little bit more about that in a bit later but currently the system is that you get to print a hundred free pages with a little banner on the bottom and uh, for clean paper you could get charged something called circles which can be earned very simply by either taking a survey watching videos or using any of the other offers that we have available on the printers platform. Now, the banner paper is gonna give you a little banner like I said before, and on the clean paper, it's exactly what it sounds like, clean paper, but in this case, you didn't pay to print. Awesome, so let's go ahead and uh, print banner paper, because it looks like the clean paper costs 10 circles, and I have none right now, so I'm broke. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this, and uh, we're going to go into a little bit more detail about how to actually retrieve your document at the printing station in another screencast. But basically, this thing called the print queue over here basically means that these are the documents that are ready to be printed. So, I'm going to go to the cabinet. And uh, thank you guys for watching this screencast, and I hope to see you in the next one.